three of Jollibee for breakfast. No complaints at all. Tom? I know I complain. You got you got two orders? Yes. You're getting thick out here. I still remember how it used to be. Holding hands running wild and free. Crossed our hearts still we never let go. So right now we're on our way to Shangri-La Plaza for this outlet and Carlos sending me some photos right now of the shoes they have there and I gotta say it's looking pretty good. The actual outlet is uh, called Planet Sports 20th Anniversary Big Sale and they're actually doing it at a big retail mall. So usually you know outlets are sort of out in the middle of nowhere. You have to travel pretty far to get to there but this mall is actually like in a very populated location and there's also an SM Mega Mall right beside it. to the sixth floor and uh, we have Titan right behind me and then we also got sneak peek as well. You guys know Titan, if you're in the Philippines, it's basically like a Foot Locker almost or a, a tier above Foot Locker I wanna say because they do get the hyped, hyped releases. So let's go check out both stores. Here's a look at their basketball selection. Lots and lots of Adidas here. I honestly don't know the names of half of these shoes. I think these are the new Currys that just came out. Please correct me if I'm wrong. These Adidas remind me of like the ZX4000 and like it looks like they cut and sewed a bunch of different pieces onto the side. Very loud, very bold. These ones right here remind me of the Holly Pack that they did with Pharrell on the NMDs. This like colorway, it's sort of like a pink and lavender tie-dye-esh. And then this is the last colorway here, probably my favorite just because I like the beiges and the blacks. I like the way it contrasts together. It makes for more of a lifestyle sneaker because wearing that, that one's a bit too loud for me in public. But these ones, I could get behind. Right on display in the middle of the store, we got the brand new LeBron 17s. Holy cow, they're already at 17 now. That's pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, check it out. It says, I'm king on the tongue. All this different fly knit patterns going on too. Very loud, very crazy. We have a few colorways of the Giannis shoes. I think they're called the Zoom Freak ones but we have the blue colorway with that really dope gold swoosh. I like the way it like sprinkles or what sprinkles. That's hey, not Christian. the right word. Shines? You know what? what I like What's these? up? Why do you like these, Tom? Why do you like these? Because there's one thing in common with me and Giannis. What's that? We're both a freak. Kobe's right here. These are actually pretty nice. By the looks of it, the main difference between this location of Titan and the one in BGC is this one really focuses on performance basketball sneakers, so you're not gonna find any lifestyle shoes at all. Like, I'm only finding Nike basketball, uh, some Adidas basketball, but we're not finding anything like Jordan 1s or anything of that nature. But now, we're gonna head over to the next store, right beside it, sneak peek, and they got lots of lifestyle sneakers, so let's go check it out. First things first, they got a bunch of the Adidas classics at the front, the Stan Smiths, they got the Continental 80s, the Superstars, the Gazelles, pretty much anything that uh, has some strong, strong heritage is uh, at the front of the store here. Looks like the store has it set up with like Adidas running and new releases with Nike, and then Adidas again, the New Balance. So let's go check out all these shoes. These are pretty crazy. These are the Adidas Sleek. I haven't seen these before. These might be a woman's exclusive, but it has this like crocodile texture on the leather upper right here. Two different colorways of the Adidas Sobakov. I'm still surprised they're putting out new colorways of the shoe, to be honest. They also have a much more toned down version, so an all black version, but the stripes on the side are, of course, red, white, and blue. Here's a look at the Nike section. We've got some Air Force Ones, some Cortez, and these are the shoes that really caught my eye. They have these brand new Nike Air Max. 90s with the sort of gray cement print on the uh, the midsole a little different going on there and uh, yeah I think I think they could have done a better job on the upper but I do like the cement midsole I like these a lot too this is sort of like a wheat winter boot kind of vibe Air Max 90 sneaker here's a look at the Adidas selection here in the middle of the store some night joggers I'll show you guys some of these up close One A6 that really caught my eye are these fire ones, man. 
These are really, really cool. These are going for 9,190 pesos, so 9,200. But we have this sort of like flame mesh pattern behind the translucent side right here. And I thought they were done with Puma Thunder Spectras, but they have two new colorways here. They have this black and orange one, perfect for Halloween, just in time for that fall season. And then they also got these ones here, predominantly white, sort of gray beige upper, and then they have hits of black and gum on the midsole or outsole, the gum bottom on the outsole. 6,500 pesos for these ones here. They also have Sneaker Freaker Mag here. You don't see too many stores that carry Sneaker Freaker Mag, so we have the same issue, but three different covers right here. So one with the Reebok Alien Stomper, one with the, uh, the Bay Puma collab, and uh, these. I think these are older releases. I I'm pretty sure this has come out a long, long time ago. So yeah, it looks like they're pretty old. I don't think these are brand new, but maybe they have the brand new ones. We'll find out. These just came out. These are the A6 and Vivian Westwood collaboration. I honestly have no idea who Vivian Westwood is, if they're an artist, if they're a singer, if they're, I don't know what they are, but they do have the collection here, so they got the one colorway. These ones are the loudest, I think. It has this like all over print. Sort of reminds me of some arts that I would see in my grandparents home or something but yeah they got these ones here and then the final pair are these ones and these ones are colorful very playful very bold and loud it says chaos here on the side with the tag a little little logo thing on the back there not sure what that is looks like a like a planet with a little a cross thing on top but yeah that's the last of the Vivian Westwood and Asics collaboration they have here I can hardly believe just made it to Athlete's Foot right now. We're checking out the Nike selection. They got a bunch of Air Max 270 Reacts. This new blue colorway. Really messed with these. Really, really clean pair. 7,600 pesos. Here's a look at a few of the other ones they just dropped. All brand new colorways here at Athlete's Foot. I think this one's called the Pop Art one. So similar to those Pop Art filters you guys see on like Snapchat, Instagram, all that good stuff. Here's a look at the Vapor Max selection. And they also have the OG Air Max 270s. These ones right here always remind me of those Cactus Flea, uh, flea Market ones. These are going for 9,895 pesos for these. Pretty decent selection of Nike Element Reacts 55 as well. Jordan Legacy 312s. I like these ones a lot. These are probably one of the best colorways besides the breads that they did. I'm not a huge fan of the sneaker overall, but this colorway is definitely one of the best ones. You could call it the Chicago one, honestly. So the Chicago Jordan Legacy 312s. These are going for 7,200 pesos. And then they also made a new one for the Royals. This is the first time I've seen this colorway. I've seen the breads time and time again on sale as well but they finally have a royal blue colorway also going for i believe the same price which was a uh it's like 7. Point, yeah, 7.2k. So what do you guys like better? Let me know in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. The Chicago's or the Royals when it comes to the Jordan Legacy 312. I don't know why they made these. I feel like every colorway of the shoe is going to hit outlets. I'm not crazy about these, but they have a shattered backboard version now. These new Mars uh, Jordans. We also got this black and red one here. We have some nice 12s, the white, gold, and red ones. We got the cool gray 4s. Definitely an underrated sneaker for this year. And we have the, I believe, FIBA Jordan 4s. Quickly check on the woman's selection before we head out of athlete's foot they have these air force ones now these are a woman's exclusive sneaker i haven't seen the men's version anywhere and i haven't even seen large enough sizes for guys to wear that they could squeeze into but these are cool it definitely gives you those off-white you know deconstructed kind of vibes with the double swoosh the double midsole even the the logos on the back are like a mismatch between the og nike branding and then the new, the new Nike branding, you could call it. So very, uh, very different. If another colorway here too. And I'm aware they've also made some more simple ones like a black and white colorway. This is more like a pastel Easter kind of vibe. We did stumble across a cool pop-up store that just opened up like a week or two ago. And it's right here in the same mall as the outlet we're going to. So it's called Style. And it was right behind me. So we're gonna go inside. I'll show you guys what they have. They literally just opened up two weeks ago. So I'll have their Instagram pop up, their Instagram in the description down below. Check them out here in Manila if you're by Shangri-La Plaza East. Let's get inside. Let's check out the Jordans they have here. They have a lot of heat, like a ton of heat. Tom's going through the ones right now, of course. We got some infrared sixes right here. One of my favorite Jordan sixes. Check out the Travis Scott sixes too. It's my first time holding a real pair. I have the fake ones at Green Hills and they want like 170 Canadian for the fake ones, but these are some quality shoes. I find it so funny with the stash pocket here on the side. I'm not used to seeing that at all, but overall, probably one of the best Jordan releases of this year. I don't think I would call these sneaker of the year. I think the Travis 
Scott 1s were a bit better, but still a really, really great Air Jordan 6. And I just love this colorway for fall as well. Next up, we got these. Oh my gosh, these are one of my favorite Air Jordan 1s to come out recently. It's not your traditional like Chicago themed colorway, but I love when they do yellow on Jordan 1s. They just look so dope. They also have a ton of other ones here. We got the shadows. We got the, uh, the Sports Illustrated. I call these the Singapore ones because I bought these in Singapore, but they have these ones here too. We got the Obsidian Highs. Now, the Obsidian Highs, I actually completely slept on this release. Regret it a lot, actually. I didn't even like try and enter a raffle or anything for these. If I were to ever buy these, I would strip off the paint right away, to be honest with you, or do some sort of cool like Union inspired Jordan 1 custom, but these are probably one of the more creative Jordan 1s they released this year. Over here, they have all the Chicago themed Jordan 1s. So we got, of course, got the breads, we got the bread toes, we got the homage to homes, we got the satins. I like the satins, but I don't really like what they did for this particular pair for the black toes. I like the satin royals and breads they did, but the satin looks weird on the back of these. And I just wish they made them in like actual men's sizing. Like, like why make it a why make it a woman's exclusive? We got these. These look a little bit familiar. And then all the low tops as well. Now these low tops, I actually saw, I think Capital is doing a raffle for these. So they sold out and I think they're doing a restock and you have to enter the raffle, but they got the low top shatter backboard ones. They also got the purple joints here as well. They got literally every single Yeezy that came out this year. All these 350 V2s, every single one of these. Oh my gosh. Here is a look at some more of the selection they got with the runners. So the Ultra Boost and some other stuff too. Got these limited edition ones here. These are nice. They have real leather on them. Reminds me of the uh, the Haven collab that they did. We got some more UBs. We got the silver medals right here. Actually, these aren't, are these the silver medals? No, I don't think these are the silver medals, but they got the reflective ones. We got the Game of Thrones, a bunch of those. Some more UB19s, the Night Joggers. Surprised to see a sneaker consignment store or a pop-up have with the Night Jogger, in my opinion. Um, we got some Calabasas here too. I haven't seen these in a minute. We got the Mars ones right here. Very refreshing seeing the A6 collabs. We got a few collab right here. And then what is this collab? I'm not sure about this one, but I like the colors on these. The colors on this is very unique. So next up, we're heading to the uh, the outlet here, and I gotta say, Shangri-La Plaza, pretty nice mall. There's like a mixture of designer stuff here. On the other end of the mall, there was a Gucci store, but there's also like a Gap here, and there's just a lot of stores here, man. So much shopping that can be done, but we're here for one reason, and one reason only. Okay, maybe a couple reasons, but we're mainly here for the outlet. Let's check out the outlet, see what they got. So we're inside of the store right now, and here's a little look at the layout. I'll show you guys all the shoes that they have, and they have a ton of, a bunch of different brands as well. So they got like Nike, Adidas, New Balance, a ton of different stuff, so let's start digging. This corner of the outlet is predominantly Adidas sneakers, as you guys can see. So we'll work our way from right to left, and I'll show you guys everything they have available. So if there is something you want, swing by the store. We got the Adidas EQT Prime Knits right here, 5,500 pesos. We got some Adidas P. ODs as well for 4300 in this sort of blue colorway. They got the Adidas Tubular Doom socks. These are going for 2600 pesos. I like this colorway. We haven't seen this model in a long, long time. They also got the Adidas Pro Fear, this triple white colorway for 3600 pesos. A lot of the sizes are like a mixture, so it's not really organized by size. You really have to hunt and then cross your fingers hoping they have your size. So these are size 10.5, and these are like next to size like six. So it's a little, little mismatch all over the place. We have these Nikki Runners, this mint and orange outsole colorway, 4,300 pesos. We also got a very clean OG, like collegiate navy blue colorway here for 3,900 pesos as well. I mess with these. I really like these. These are the olive colorway of the Adidas PODs. These are going for 4,300 pesos. The olive and orange hits, that nice fall colorway. We have these Adidas EQTs right here, the EQT Advance for 3,000 pesos. It almost looks like 30,000 the way they crossed out the circles or whatever, or the zeros, but orange colorway, really bold. I like it, 3K. We got some Boost right here, the Boost You Wears basketball sneakers. These are very thick in Boost, 6,000 pesos. I'm messing with the Adidas selection here. We got these right here, EQT Support Advance for 3,000 pesos. I think that's like 75 Canadian dollars. I haven't seen too many Ultra Boost here at this outlet so far, but they have the Ultra Boost Uncaged, or start, sorry, not Uncaged, Unlaced. These are the Unlaced Ultra Boost, sort of a multi-knit upper right here. 
girl's shoe. These are going for 5,500 pesos. We also have a olive and orange colorway of the EQT 9118. These are going for 5,400 pesos. A lot of boost on these. Reminds me of the 9317s that they did, but sort of has more of that EQT support advanced structure. So if you like compare the two, this one doesn't have boost. This one's like it's big brother with a boost. Oh man, you guys know I'm a sucker for any Adidas and Nike runner. We got these ones right here for 3,900 pesos. Navy blue upper with the hits of red, white, and blue on the stripes. I haven't seen these sneakers for quite some time at any outlet now. These are the Adidas EQT Cushion Advance. And this is sort of like a beige gray colorway. Very simple, low key, not gonna break any necks. This is a shoe that's definitely just gonna be more of a shoe that brings together your outfits, not stand out. These are going for 3,000 pesos, size 10.5. Onto some more Adidas and Nike runners. We got this gray and a red pay here for 3,900. to the Nike selection. We have some pretty good stuff ranging from some Air Maxes. We got these Vapor Max 95s right here. 6,300 pesos for this blue colorway. They also have a red colorway here too. 6,300 on these ones. The Air Max 98s here are a size 12. 4,800 pesos for these. I really like these. I think these are one of the OG Air Max 95 colorways and then they slapped on the Vapor Max sole. Going for 6,300 pesos. Finally found a size 10. I've been looking for size 10 sneakers this entire time. This is the first pair for 4,800 pesos. We got these olive and orange ones. These are bold. These are these are loud, man. These are definitely a neck-breaking shoe for the fall season. Usually when you think olive and orange, they're more of a subtle kind of shoe, but these are definitely a neck breaker. So I finally found a pair of foam posits here. These are going for 4,700. We got these blue Element React 55s for 4,000 pesos, about a size eight. Onto a size 9.5, we got the Vapor Max Plus in this sort of charcoal gray and uh, green colorway. Haven't seen this one yet, but they're 5,600 pesos. Um, not too bad. Now this is what I'm talking about. Size 10.5, a little bit big for me, but these are going for 4,000 pesos. The Element React 55s, one of the best colorways is Jim Red one. We've seen these in the Nike LS in Canada for a little bit cheaper, but this is probably one of the better outlet finds here today at the mall. Oh my gosh, these are crazy. I was seeing these all over the place the last time I was here in the Philippines. They also had the orange colorway as well. So this is like a sunset version. The other one's like a sunrise. The purple or pink and blue, the way it like changes the way you tilt the shoe, really, really cool. These are going for 5,037 pesos. I think these are one of the only Jordan ones we're gonna find at this outlet, but they are the ones with the double strap. Not too crazy about these. These ones are going for 4,300 pesos in the black and white colorway. They also have a ton of New Balance selection here as well. So this entire like row, all these tables right here are all New Balance sneakers. We got some pretty clean ones here, like this maroon pair going for 2,400 pesos. Navy blue one here too. These are some funky New Balances. I haven't seen these ones before. These are a New Balance 574, but the midsole is like cut off in the middle. So it sort of reminds me of the Adidas POD. And uh, it looks like, they're, looks like they're pretty comfortable. The material here looks very, uh, very spongy. These are going for 3,148 pesos. You'll always stay close to my home